Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some timeless wardrobe staples, patterns that you can add to your 2023 list for sewing this fall. So if you have not made a list yet, don't worry, I have you covered. So I'm going to start off by talking about the timeless wrap dress and shirt dress patterns. I'll give a little bit of a historical account of how we have come to have these beautiful wardrobe staples and talk a little bit about the pattern choices that you can make that will be able to uh, withstand decades if you choose to have your your clothes for that long so if you're like me i like to hang on to my me maids i don't rarely throw away my me maids i might gift them to my daughter or to people that I am close with if I have any issues with, um, say for instance, uh, fitting or any anything like that, I might gift them to other people. However, I like to choose wardrobe staples, tops, dresses, pants that will uh, carry over for five, maybe 10 years because I don't like getting rid of my me made clothing. So with that said, let's go ahead, get into today's video and I'm going to share with you some sewing patterns that you can uh, use to make yourself me made garments that are timeless. Okay, so let's first start with the wrap dress. So we have been blessed to have the beautiful designer Elza Scaparelli, and I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Um, in the early 1930s, she made what was known as the pull over wrap dress. And if I can find that original design, I'll go ahead and pop an image here so you can see what that looks like. Um, although it was uh, mainstream fashion at the time, um, it really didn't, the, the classic wrap dress as we know it uh, with the body wrap did not hit the scenes until the 1970s when um, Diane von Furzenberg created the wrap dress. And if you go on her website, so um, this was first in 1974 when she created the first wrap dress. And um, she made a splash, right? So um, during this time that she was creating these wrap dresses, she sold over 5 million wrap dresses. I know I said I was going to give a small historical account of the original iconic wrap dress and where the wrap dress originated from, but I find this information so fascinating that I want to share it with you and I hope you all find it fascinating as well. So I want to first talk about the Newsweek magazine that... Um, the article that Diane von Futzensberg was in and how her uh, original wrap dress gained national attention and how it became iconic. So in this particular issue of the magazine, it was May 3rd, 1976. On the front of the cover is Diane von Futzenberg. And also she's in this really bright green and white uh, wrap dress with the collar. So her collared wrap dresses are really classic. Those are the ones that she really loved. And so pay attention to that. I'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the video. But this is um, where she gains national attention for this wrap dress is here in the late 70s here. And so it gained so much attention. She uh, sold over 5 million copies of the wrap dress and it became popularized and everything. And so this cover basically kind of catapulted her into this uh, career of wrap dresses, in my opinion. And she, now we're coming up on her 50th anniversary for the wrap dress. And so she has this 50 long year history of making wrap dresses. She's still out there selling wrap dresses. She has her own little website and I'll talk about that as well. Um, a little bit more about that anyway. I just wanted to go ahead and insert a voiceover of some more information about Diane and the wrap dress. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you a few uh, images of 
some of the rap dresses that were in the Vogue Patterns magazine in the 1970s at the time. And then I'll share with you again some of the uh, pictures here of um, some of her, her more later designs and more importantly, the 2023 collection that just came out this year as well. So I love all of these different styles and these uh, silhouettes. As you can see, she started out with um, kind of these uh, original wrap dress, classic wrap dresses uh, that we know and love with the collar and also with the, the wrap and they were knit, which was really popular at the time. And what she did with her original wrap dress, it is um, 50% polyester, I'm sorry, 50% viscose and 50% cotton. And so um, that's really huge for the time, right? It kind of also changed the way in which we were playing with fibers and things like that and draping different types of dresses on our bodies as well. She also did a cover um, for Vogue. So she was on the cover of Vogue Patterns um, in the 70s as well. And uh, the article was titled The Princess and Her Prince. And so it goes throughout um, the different uh, types of prints that she was selecting at the time, which included that really nice, bright uh, green uh, iconic dress, which, by the way, is in the Met. Um, and you can buy tickets to go and see it if you want to. Um, I happen to just like the pictures online just fine. But yeah, you can definitely buy tickets and see it at the Met. And uh, she also played with black and white, red and white, and brown and white as well. And so she wasn't always, you know, focusing on, you know, those really bright colors that we saw in the 70s, but she also uh, leaned more towards black and white and neutral colors as well, which I really love. Um, and so again, very iconic. I highly encourage you to uh, read the piece, The Princess and Her Prince, just to get an idea of um, what she was thinking back then. She also has a few patterns that are online that uh, can be purchased from eBay and Etsy that are original Vogue patterns that were released in the 70s and the 80s. And they're really interesting. They have really nice uh, style lines and everything like that. However, the patterns are very expensive because, as you can imagine, um, because it is uh, titled as iconic, uh, you will be paying upwards of $100 or even more for those patterns. However, I'll put some links in the description box below so you can go over and see those different styles and and see the original wrap dress and, and how her uh, style has evolved. Now, fast forward to 2023, you see a lot more drama with her wrap dresses. Uh, she does have very uh, slim fitting or lean looking wrap dresses, um, but she also have uh, ones that are very dramatic with sleeves and big skirts and full skirts and things of that nature. So I really find it interesting and I hope that you do too. Let me know what your thoughts are about this in the comment section below. You go on her on her website today, you'll see the Diane Von uh, Furtzenberg website, and she has all different types of wrap dresses, but um, her signature wrap dress is the knit wrap dress. She said that uh, she loves the, the knee length collared uh, fitted wrap dress because it's perfect for the working woman. And so you'll see a lot of those styles of wrap dresses on the site. They are very expensive, as you can imagine, because she is a high-end fashion designer. Um, and so her wrap dresses range anywhere from like 300 upwards of thousands of dollars. And so I'll go ahead and put that link in the description box below and you could go over on the site and just look at some of the, the styles and things of that nature that she has created and the styles that she's uh, selling currently. So that's how we came to uh, have the wrap dress, like in a nutshell, that's just a really, really snapshot of uh, a history and how we have come to get these beautiful wrap dresses. Um, and obviously, as we have gone throughout the decades, we have different designers that have put different takes on the wrap dress, uh, where you get these really nice over-exaggerated sleeves, gathered sleeves on 
on uh, wrap dresses, uh, just really um, elegant. You can have cocktail wrap dresses, just all different types of wrap dresses. And so today I'm going to share with you uh, five of the most classic wrap dresses that we know and love. So starting with the first wrap dress, this is a classic wrap dress that is typically um, it, you have your snap or your tie or your butt enclosure that's usually on the left or the right side of the body. So it's a true wrap dress. Um, the waistline is usually at the uh, high waist there. And it is uh, just your typical wrap style, modest neckline. I'll go ahead and put a few um, images here of wrap dresses, uh, commercial wrap dresses, patterns that will mimic this classic style of dress. So the McCall's M8036. Now in this particular wrap dress pattern, we have more than one style here. And why I selected this one is because, well, number one, for view B, you have like this classic uh, wrap with your tie on the left side of the body. You have your A-line skirt. It's not really full, but you have a really nice A-line skirt and you have that, um, that signature wrap that for the bodice, right? Now with this particular pattern, uh, you do have a more um, elevated sleeve pattern than your traditional classic wrap sleeve. You have some um, pleats on the shoulder there. And then for view uh, A, you also have the option of uh, adding a sash and also you have uh, flounce details as well, which is something that came later on the scene uh, in like the 90s. Uh, you saw like a lot of these double flounces and things of that nature there. For view C, you see you have the uh, button closure there, which is another take on the wrap dress that came later on. I picked this because again, this particular pattern you can get your classic look if you will for uh, if you choose view b you do like i said have a little bit of an elevated sleeve however you also have other options within this same pattern if you want to have a more exaggerated look or a more flirty look so you can get that with that pattern there now, if you look at this next pattern, this is the McCall's M6959. This is more of your traditional wrap dress, like the original styled wrap dress. You see we have um, a full skirt in one view. That's view A and B. You get more of a fuller skirt. You also have the option of doing a sleeveless or a cap sleeve there. And then for views C and D, you have more of your sheath or your shift dress look where it's more um, it's nipped at the waist and you also have that straight look uh, there as well. Now, uh, Mrs. Hertzenberg, her signature style is with the collar. And so if you want to have a classic wrap dress look with the collar, view C would be perfect. Again, you have sleeveless options and you also have the... Uh, believe view D is a three quarter length sleeve. I made this pattern several years ago and I have this as a review on the channel. I believe I made view A. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I might have made view d skirt i'm not first i'm not for sure i don't have that pattern any longer however the review is on the channel and i'll try to locate it and put that in the description box below so you can see that one there you also have your knit wrap dress. So this is another um, one that Diane Furtzenberg, uh really, uh, she's 
known to have said on record that uh, she really likes the knits and also the collars um, for the wrap dress because it's more for working women and uh, it's more comfortable as well. So for your knit wrap dress, this classic dress is usually knee length. You usually have different sleeve variations, including short sleeves, long sleeves, three three quarter length sleeves, and you usually have like a midi or a, um, well, it started out as your midi and your knee length styles, but now today we see a lot of maxi length styles as well with your knit options. The Friday Pattern Company's West Cliff Dress. So the West Cliff Dress, um, it come in sizes extra small to 4X and it features a wrap front with full coverage and a neckline that won't gape. There is an optional lower uh, tier that makes the dress a maxi length and the pattern also includes a tutorial on how to turn the dress into a cute crop top so you do have that and i have said many times on the channel i love friday pattern company um usually their patterns go to a 7x but this one goes to a 4x and so that's still pretty good i'll make sure that i put the link in the description box below you can go over and check out the size chart and see if that is something that you would be interested in so you do have the option of doing um as the description said a uh, little flounce on the bottom it's a gathered uh, tier that you add to the bottom or you can just leave it and have your classic knit uh midi or knee length type style dress there and that is a knit pattern Another great option I think would be the ultimate wrap dress by sew over it. This is also a um, midi uh, knee length dress and it's also for knits. It has a modest neckline and that's something that you're going to see in your most of your knit wrap dresses. Um, you will see a more modest neckline and sometimes you do see cleavage in these garments but you might need to wear a cam camisole underneath if you don't want to show any cleavage with some of these wrap dresses but for the most part you're not going to have like a really wide deep v for these um necklines now the ultimate wrap dress again that's by sew over it and i'll put an image here so you can see what that looks like there's also the vogue v 1952 now this is a knit wrap dress as well and it is described as um a dress wrap front dresses that have neck bands hand sewn hems and sleeve and skirt variations view a has a three-quarter length sleeve ending in bands with the split and view b has a short sleeve and a collar so again in this particular wrap dress as uh you would notice with diane furtzenberg's her um classic signature looks you will see that collar you will see that nice elegant look and what i like about these patterns these types of wrap dresses especially the knits you can usually dress these up or down you can wear them with kitten heels or high heels you can wear them with sneakers or any type of flat shoe and so they are just so versatile and they look really great with like denim jackets or any type of crop jackets or blazers so it's really fun to play with these and they would be a really great option for fall next we have the flirty wrap dress now the flirty wrap dress has more of a nipped waist and so it's go going to have like that cinched in look and usually they have uh flutter sleeves or some type of some type of uh flounce around the neckline or uh, maybe a flounce on the end of the skirt maybe a curved hem or some type of um, exaggerated hem so these are meant to be 
more flirty and more eye-catching and not so much like, you know, your everyday wrap dress where you're wearing it to work or something like that. So uh, the options that I have noticed that meet this criteria, um, first is the Sew Over It Eve. Now, I've had this dress pattern for a number of years in my uh, in my stash, but I have not sewn it yet. It has very great reviews. Um, I think one of the reasons why I didn't sew it, if I if I remember correctly, it is very fabric hungry, and so you might need quite a bit of fabric for that. Um, so the Sew Over It Eve though has a really great rep reputation in the sewing community, and so I would highly recommend that one. Um, the Berta 6207 is another wrap dress pattern that I think would be uh, really, really cute. Um, so the Berta 6207, now this is a pullover wrap dress or a pull-on wrap dress. Um, so I'm not quite for certain if you're sewing the size together or not, but that's what the description is describing it as. It is a little bit more flirty than the other wrap dresses that I have shown you because it has that flounce detail. As you notice, it has a flounce detail around the neckline as well as on the skirt. And I'll put the image here so you can see what it looks like. And it is described as a feminine wrap dress that have um, that features overcut shoulders, three quarter length sleeves, wide tie bands, and view A um, has a kimono style, whereas uh, dress B uh, has this nice, beautiful flounce detail as well. So very cute, playful little wrap dress there. And then if you want something that has a little bit more of an exaggerated hem, there is the Mrs. Wrap Dress Vogue B1734. It also has really cute flutter sleeves and this really nice uh, curved hem. Really, really nice. Now, moving on to the faux wrap dresses. Now, these wrap dresses are basically uh, dresses where the bodice and the skirt portion of the wrap, um, they actually are lapped over one another. However, they are the side seams are closed together. And so you don't have like an open body wrap as you will with some of these other wrap dresses here. One of my favorite faux wrap um, dresses is the Tia Knit Wrap by Style Art Patterns. I made this exactly three years ago this month. And so it is a beautiful, beautiful wrap dress. I have a pattern review on the channel of it. I made it several times. It's one of my favorite faux wrap dress patterns. Uh, you can make it in a solid and stripes. You can make it in florals and it just looks so beautiful and wonderful. And it's very easy. Uh, you don't have any set in sleeves or any type of sleeves that you're adding onto the pattern. It has a, a grown on sleeve on the pattern, which is really nice as well. And you have options of making um, different uh, skirts and skirt lengths as well. So I really recommend the Tia Knit Wrap Dress. It's one of my favorite patterns um, in terms of uh, faux wrap dresses. Now this next pattern, the McCall's M7970, it is a, a pattern that is very interesting. It's pull over your head. The front is wrapped, the, the front bodice pieces are wrapped and the lower skirt is also wrapped. You do have different styles. You have um, one with a, a sleeveless option, uh, a set and sleeve option, and you do have skirt flounces as well. You have different skirt lengths. It's a really interesting pattern. You do also have neck uh, flounce as well. Now, this pattern, I also have a pattern review on the channel uh, for this as well. Now, I would recommend this to people who actually watch some type of review or a sew along on it. I believe there are several sew alongs on the channel for this. 
um, or watch my review as well because there is an issue with the skirt pattern and I believe I had an issue with uh, the skirt not fitting the bodice correctly. However, if you can uh, make sure that you take the right measurements and put your bodice to the skirt and the way in which um, it will, uh, the, the bodice and the the top match one another, then it will be a perfect pattern. You just have to make sure to uh, recalculate the skirt if I'm not uh, mistaken with this particular pattern. But it is a decent pattern and I would suggest uh, making this if you want something like a faux wrap. Now, if you're interested in a more playful or exaggerated style, I would definitely suggest this Vogue pattern. It's the Vogue V1762. This is a Mrs. Lined Wrap dress that is close fitting through the bust that has a, a contrast binding, waistband, ties, bishop sleeves, and it ends in a cuff. So your bishop, your bishop sleeve has a cuff at the bottom of it. And you also have a button and loop closure. So this is a fun pattern. I think it is very interesting. It has very nice style lines. I have the pattern in my stash, but I have not made it yet. But I think it is a interesting, more exaggerated look for your wrap dress. I almost forgot to share with you the wrap dress that I am wearing. So this is the Appleton Wrap Dress by Cashmere Wrap Patterns. I made it a few years ago. And the fabric that I use is a fabric from Zulu Fabrics. It is a ITY knit that has foils on the flowers. And I don't think that this one's available anymore, but I'll put a link in the description box below to uh, some sister fabrics that are similar to this if you are interested. So those are all my ideas and suggestions for wrap dress patterns to sew for fall so that you can include a timeless wrap dress in your wardrobe as a staple. So now let's go ahead and talk about the shirt dress as a staple and why it's so timeless. So the shirt dress was first emerged in the 20th century as a blouse and was defined as a shirt waist, typically worn with a corset. The shirt dress and the skirt eventually became, as we know it, the shirt dress in the 1930s as it as women started to enter the workforce by the 1940s the shirt dress changed and gained significance in high fashion thanks to christian dior's 1947 iconic new look the style was transformed from a utility utility style button front dress with a collar chest pockets to a fuller skirt and a nipped waistline the 1950s also highlighted pops of color and natural fibers. And so we saw a shift in the shirt dress as well. By the 1960s and 80s, the shirt dress fashion evolved into the sheafed and shift dress silhouettes, thanks to Pierre Cardin, pushing the nipped waistlines to the side and putting the straight A line in the spotlight. By the 90s, we started to see different trends and styles including the wrap a-line flared and sheath as well as oversized and dramatic statement pieces so and this is what we have come to love today about the beautiful shirt dress because it can be styled in so many different ways and we can make so many different variations of the shirt dress so let's first start with the classic shirt dress. So one of the more classic shirt dresses that will mimic more of like this utility style that we saw back in the 50s, the McCall's M8031. So I would say this is kind of a take on your basic utility style uh, shirt dress. Now it's not quite like the shirt dresses that we've seen in the 50s. Remember in the 50s, you had a bodice and a skirt piece that was separated and sewn together. Whereas this style here is just a take on an uh, oversized long shirt, if you will. 
So for this pattern, so this is a level three learn to sew pattern. And the description says that you have dresses with three different lengths and a button front, back yoke, side seam pockets, and a tie belt, patch pockets, and a shirt tail hem, and side uh, hemline slits as well. So what I really like about this is it has some of those classic 1950 vibes where you get the, um, the collar there, you get the notch collar, and you also get the patch pockets, but you also get a more modern look with the shirt tail hem and the slits on the side. And it's also, you know, a longer dress. Whereas again, in the fifties, we saw, uh, the bodice and the skirt was separated and sewn together. Next, we have the Butterick B6843. This is another beautiful shirt dress that has a notched collar. You have your semi-fitted bodice, A-line skirt, side pockets, and a narrow hem. So in this particular shirt dress pattern, you do have a bodice and a skirt that you're sewing together. So unlike the previous pattern, this particular pattern is going to be closer to that 1950s uh, vintage style there. And what I like about this particular pattern is if you want to get a 1950s vintage look, all you have to do is add patch pockets to the breast, your chest pockets there. And then you can also add like um, small little details like buttons. And you can also choose uh, specific fabrics like your linen, your cotton blends, you know, those types of fabrics that they would have uh, been sewing in that era, gingham, cotton, you know, those types of fabrics to get that vintage look. But you can also use this to elevate it and, and make it more modern by choosing your classic denim or chambray type fabrics, or even uh, more uh, bold and bright colors and things of that nature that we are seeing trending uh, for this year. Next, we have the Butterick B6702. This is more of your modern, uh, like late 1990s to 2000 type um, pattern here. You do have the handkerchief hem that was really popular uh, several years ago and came back in circulation there. You also have a princess seam bodice, flared skirt. You have uh, sleeve lengths. And for this particular pattern, you have different cup size options, which is also really nice. Now, I do like the, uh, uh, the princess seam uh, bodice there. That's always going to get you a better uh, fit as well as your cup sizes, which is really nice. So again, a more modern take on on the shirt dress, but I absolutely love it. You also have a button placket, which is something that was also added in the more um, modern era as well. And you have your uh, darts as well that shapes the bodice as well. So beautiful, beautiful shirt dress. I would not choose the handkerchief option myself, but I think view A with the nice uh, flared skirt and the knee length um, there is a really great, uh, beautiful choice for me anyway, because I love knee length dresses. Now we have the Berta style 5916. This is more of your feminine classic look. So the description says that this is a uh, feminine dresses with full front button fastening, uh, collar and collar band and angled armholes. View A has a clean look and features a separate belt. View B is more romantic with frills to embellish the top. So really cute. I really love the sleeve, um, the sleeveless uh, options here and also the really nice classic uh, collar there. The shirt collars are so, so key with shirt dresses um, for the modern times anyway. 
And lastly, if you want to go with a more dramatic shirt dress, I would choose the Vogue V1933. Now, this was just released this year, and it is uh, more of a dramatic take on your shirt dress. It is a looser and fit, and you have these dramatic, beautiful sleeves that have a concealed button closure. You also have a collar and a collar band. However, you don't have have a a bodice um like a a separated bodice from your skirt so it's just your clean uh looking straight line dress and it is a beautiful beautiful dress now the description says that this is an a-line dress that's loose fitting through the bus has drop shoulders collar neck band patch pocket Size slits and length variations. Long sleeves have concealed button closure along underseam of, of your arm. And uh, you do have uh, cuffs that button as well. So, and this is supposed to be figure flattering for all body types. So I really like this take on the shirt dress as well. And I definitely want to sew this. I do have a copy of this and I hope to make it some someday soon. So those are just a few timeless wrap dress and shirt dress patterns that you can sew this fall so that you can add to your me made wardrobe. If you have any other suggestions for wrap dress or shirt dress patterns that I did not mention in this video that you think would be a wonderful wardrobe staple that will last throughout the years, please drop those names or numbers of patterns in the description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, thank you for watching today's video. I can't wait to talk to you all in the next video. Bye.